Namaste, this is Mekla here from Pooja's.in. So, uh, I just wanted to talk about a trend uh, which is not started today, but which has been there especially prevalent in South India, wherein uh, people of certain nakshatras find it very difficult to get a match, not because of the dosh alone, but also because people um, are growing this kind of uh, a belief system where they believe that these nakshatra people, you know, should not be associated with, meaning to say that they will hesitate to give their uh, you know boys their son or their uh, grandson to this kind of a family wherein the children have that nakshatra for example if a prospective girl is having nakshatra as a ashlesha nakshatra or mula nakshatra then people straight away say no because ashlesha nakshatra person if at all uh, you know somebody has to marry that kind of a girl they should not have a mother in law that's what they believe and uh, for mula nakshatra they say that okay father in law should not be alive only then uh, they will really um, agree to uh, getting their son married so uh, only then they will agree to get their son married to a a girl who has that mula nakshatra so provided the boy doesn't have a father okay so these are the things which are there some of it is true and some of it uh, is also not because uh, the way they build around this really impacts the life of a girl and uh, in they they feel that this is the end of the world and there's no solution at all to this so if you feel if if you uh, have liked a girl um, who is of this nakshatra, like say Ashlesha nakshatra. So, usually what uh, would you do is you would see whether you know she has a, whether you if you have your mother alive then you would uh, then you would really hesitate to marry somebody of Ashlesha nakshatra. Likewise, if the girl is Mula nakshatra and you want to marry her, you have liked her very much and the, everything matches very well but still you are hesitant because you have a father. So, I am saying that you know just because the girl is Ashle Ashlesha nakshatra or Mula is not the end of the world you know everybody has a life and then they are born definitely because of their karma uh, all of us are born in a certain nakshatra and each nakshatra has its own pluses and minuses okay and gandamula dosha is basically for all uh, buddha nakshatras and for ketu nakshatras and each nakshatra will have an impact which about which i'd like to talk to you in another video but today's video is mainly because uh, my one of my friend radha was uh, you know uh, experiencing and uh, in her observation, she had seen that a lot of people are facing problems because um, she is a very family oriented person and she tries to help out people get married and things like that. So, even within her own family, she saw that there were people uh, of belonging to this Ashlesha Nakshatra who were not getting proposals. There were, there were girls who were not getting proposals and they were really struggling and uh, she said, please do a video and tell what remedy you should do and what you did to my relative and how it uh, resulted in a marriage, uh, you know, fixing a marriage or confirmation of a marriage. So, I thought, okay, fine, let me do it for you. Uh, you have watched her in other videos also uh, where we have had a dialogue with each other in uh, Canada, we have spoken. So, it is the same Radha, uh, her, one of her relatives uh, wanted uh, to get married and she belonged to Ashlesha Nakshatra and uh, she got some remedies done for her, her niece actually. So, and uh, now uh, the marriage is confirmed. So, I just thought one frame she should be here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, what is it that you need to do um, for this Ghandamul Dosh for Ashlesha Nakshatra and uh, Mula Nakshatra is basically uh, what we recommend is um, you can get uh, Abhishekas done on your Nakshatra day. One is to the uh, Adipati of the Nakshatra, the second one is to the Rashi Adipati, and the third thing is to Ishwara, Lord Ishwara. So, Ishwara absolves all karmas and he absolves all uh, negativity and ka everything related to the nakshatra. Okay, the, all the badas are removed. So, if you can get Abhishekas done for these three, this is the starting point, then you will start seeing that you will start getting proposals. I am talking about girls now, okay, and uh, you will start getting proposals and then definitely uh, finally it will result in marriage. Now, the second thing is if there is a boy who's really liked a girl who belongs to Ashlesha Nakshatra or Mula, then what you need to do is uh, get a remedy done so that she's clear of the dosha 
and you can also get married without any hassles. So, on the day of that particular nakshatra, you need to get the remedies done, the Abhisheka done for, uh, for example, if you are saying Ashlesha, we have to do um, Buddha, Buddha, Japa, Buddha Japa you can do or you can do Buddha Abhisheka on uh, particular Ashlesha nakshatra day only. And likewise for Mula nakshatra, on Mula nakshatra day get a Ketu Abhisheka done. And normally we do not do only Ketu, we do Rahu and Ketu. So, let us do that. And then we do uh, Rudra Abhisheka on your nakshatra again on the same days. So, every month there is one day dedicated for your nakshatra. So, you can make most use of the opportunity and get your uh, Abhisheka done on that particular day. So, that will really, really ease out a lot of things and still uh, if the chart and the other uh, planetary positions indicate more complications uh, with respect to marriage, then I would recommend, uh, you know, that you go for a consultation and uh, we can see in depth what is the problem you are facing and we will uh, also recommend Havans or any other remedy if necessary. So, if you just do this, it is uh, more than enough and uh, one more practice that uh, some of them are agreeing to do and they are getting good results I have suggested is that, uh, for example, if you have Ashlesha Nakshatra, if you live away from your mother-in-law, for example, uh, I am not trying to separate the family for 6 months, if there is a distance between you and the mother-in-law, that itself is good enough then the marriage will not uh, you know face much of a problem you can always come back and live together likewise for mula nakshatra also if you live away from the father in law then automatically things will work out so lot of marriages are successful you know why because uh, people these days get married in India and go uh, live abroad and the parents continue to live here. So, these uh, Gandamul Dosh Nakshatras are not facing that much of a problem because they are anyway uh, living separately and they are not living with their parents in law. But uh, I do not really advocate nuclear families or anything, each one has to look at uh, their own convenience and then um, the harmony within the family and take a call. But uh, we say that you know more than that separation part of it, if you just get an Abhisheka done, then there is no threat to life of uh, your mother-in-law or your father-in-law and uh, or threat to your marriage. So, that is very good. And uh, in uh, uh, South India, particularly Karnataka, many people get this Ashlesha Bali. Uh, done in Kuke Subramanya or any uh, Rahu Ketu temple, you could also do that. But you know, that itself is not solving the problem. I, as I ob understand and observe, uh, just doing that part is not helping them get the right proposal to get married. In fact, on Nakshatra days, like I mentioned, getting these Abhisheka Abhishekas done has really helped them move forward in life. So, now people, um, the same girl, the same chart, same Nakshatra, but after the Abhishekas have been performed, she is able to get a good proposal, a good match and then uh, even the boy has agreed. Either the boy becomes very broad minded and he would say, no, no, I will marry her, I have no problem, I do not believe in this or, uh, you know, I do not mind taking a chance, this kind of a thing or she will, she will be lucky enough to get a boy who does not have parents one of them. So, depending on which nakshatra and what. So, I am saying that, you know, instead of taking big risks, especially about somebody's life, because we say, you know, Ashlesha nakshatra, if you have a mother-in-law, there is a threat to her life. And for Mula nakshatra, we say there is a threat to the father-in-law's life of the girl. So, that means the boy's parents' life is a threat, right? So, you have to set that right. So, this is what the Gandamul Dosh is all about. But there are other nakshatras also in the Gandamul Dosh, but they are not directly impacting marriage, but they are impacting the child's health. So, about which I will do another video uh, very soon hopefully, wherein I will be explaining to you what you need to do and which are these nakshatras which you need to cater to. Till then, thank you so much. Namaste. Call me for your um, uh, Abhishek or whatever you want us to do. I can uh, organize everything for you. All right. Thank you. Namaste.